guys so i am back again with another makeup video but this is a recreation of the jacqueline fernandez look from new music video of basha it's gained up pool and this is what i'm gonna be doing okay hello picture zoom okay this one so i'm doing this look so i'm super excited to start that let's get started so my skin is nicely moisturized and now i'm going to be priming my face with my professional primer and it's going to be a quick priming right on my big pores now the very first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing my eyelids i'm using my shape tip concealer in medium tan golden and then using my beauty blender thingy it's the real technique sponge by the way Once that is done, I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder. Now I'm directly jumping into my eyeshadow. I'm using my NYX um, Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. It has all the colors. So I'm going to be using this purple right here. To get the intensity. and putting it in the inner corners so once this is done i'm going to be using this uh, light pink shade right in the center of my lid where i left the space empty after this for the jacqueline fernandez look i'm using jacqueline hill palette this is the morphe it's her first palette i'm going to be using this pearly pink shade uh, right here on the first row okay there are two ways to do it so first you can totally use it dry or you can just spray your brush with the setting spray this one is the bobby brown setting spray and then take the pigment or eyeshadow and then pack it on and go top to bottom okay so you can see the intensity of the shade in it after this, just take any liner. You can use gel eyeliner, liquid, whatever. I'm using a pencil eyeliner. This is the uh, Urban Decay Zero Glide On Eye Pencil, 24-7 Eye Pencil. And I'm trying to keep it super close and tight to my eyelids, eyelids, eyelashes. And just winging it out a little bit. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using, and I'm using my Huda Beauty foundation in Baklava. And as it is, it is a dry sponge, I'm not dragging it, I'm tapping it. This will give me full, full coverage. This foundation dries pretty fast, so you have to really work your way in. So I'm not carrying my color correction thingy. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take that orange shadow just a little bit in my finger and tap it right underneath my eyes where I feel it's like darkness. I'm going back to my Shape Tape Concealer in medium tan, medium tan golden. Concealer looks pretty okay, and now I'm going to be baking my under eyes. So again, taking my Laura Mercier powder and then tapping it. So I'm using my Wet and Wild contour palette and do the chin. instantly and i'm gonna fix my eyebrows and i'm using again wet and wild ultimate retractable brow pencil in dark brown okay so i'm gonna be using my brow gel from nyx it's a tinted brown mascara thank you just to make sure that everything is set 
I'm going to be using my um, instant cheekbones from CoverGirl in this is a very very it's purple plum okay this is a very very old old product but I love this so much I don't know if you can see like how deep my pen is like but this is my everyday thing so this is what I will use for my everyday glow you see look at the difference it instantly makes your cheek look super healthy okay. so as you can see she's wearing like a very peachy pink kind of lips in this so I am going to be mixing because I don't have like all of my lip colors here so what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be mixing these two shades these are the Maybelline lipsticks my absolute favorite like half of my makeup kit this time um, in India I'm, I just got these so this one color is lover the pink one and the uh, the orange one is the glow trotter so my idea is I'm gonna be using this pink lip liner you can use any and now I'm gonna be just kind of like dabbing this shade on my lip but not like coloring coloring so dab it dab it and with your finger just mix it in what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this pink shade and dab it on the top and again start it now one very important thing which i almost forgot is my mascara so I'm using my mascara from It Cosmetics Superhero. I absolutely love this mascara. It's stunning and it just makes your lashes look so full. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to be going back to the same palette and taking a little tiny brush, dipping my brush back into the same purple color and then going over my lower lash line. And I'm going on the outer corner and then just a little bit in the inner corner, not too much. So I'm going to just make it a little more intense. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I'm going to go back to my Jaclyn Hill palette into the same curly color. This time I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm just taking a little bit of that and putting it right in the center of my lower lash now so i'm kind of like replicating the whole top lash um top eyelid thing so here is the look and give me a couple minutes i'm gonna just quickly change and come back and show you exactly how this will look with my outfit so here is the final look and i am kind of like wearing a similar Sorry, it's not exactly the same. It has a little dark purple going on and I'm wearing close enough studs, but this is what I got and this is the look. If you guys like the look, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I don't have a pin, so I'm pretty much holding my pallu. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.